team, I hope you're all well. Today we're gonna to film from this angle because I'm very overwhelmed with this wrap up. This is my quarterly wrap up, so January, February, March, and I managed to read quite a lot at the beginning of the year. I didn't think I was doing too well, but now that I have to wrap it up, I'm very overwhelmed. The stacks have just gotten bigger and bigger as the months have gone on. You might be looking at this going, oh, that's a really nice stack, you've done really well. That's January. Um, this wrap up will not be me going into detail about each of these books, there is no freaking way. I am literally just basically gonna tell you what I rated the books. I'm gonna give you a rundown of each month, tell you how many page, how many books I read, how many pages I read, um, and then literally hold the book up tell you what star rating I gave it and that is it if you want to know more in-depth thoughts I do re weekly reading vlogs I know they're not to everybody's taste but I just I I hate wrap-ups if you didn't know this about me I hate them and this is the bare minimum that I can do to wrap up my reading so I do them quarterly because it means I only have to do four a year I'm actually going to be doing uh five this year because I'm going to do a separate one for April because I'm doing 30 books in 30 days but that's it that's all i'm going to tell you in this video i'm really hoping this isn't too wonky because it looks kind of wonky and i don't know if it's me that's wonky or the camera that's wonky anyway so this is my january wrap up i do have my laptop open just behind this stack of books so that i can tell you my stats um but i managed to read 14 books in the month of january with one dnf and had 4537 pages of red which is um, a smashing amount to start the year off. So yeah, I had a really good start to the year and I'm really, really happy as well. Um, so let's go through these books, let you know exactly what I rated everything. So Finley Donovan is Killing It by El Cosimano. I rated this one at five stars, had a great time with it. It's a fantastic, cozy mystery book. The Children on the Hill by Jennifer McMahon. I rated three stars. I actually really enjoyed this. The three stars does not mean that I didn't enjoy it. I did. Um, there were just some things about it that weren't fully up my street, but three stars, I do still think about this book. It was good. I had a good time with it. Running Wild by K.A. Tucker, which rounds off this series, which I gave five stars. Absolutely love this book. Favourite book of the month. Laura Olympus, Volume 3, I gave five stars. Absolutely love this series. I did end up buying the Waterstones edition because I couldn't wait any longer for the Illuminate edition. They've been waiting for Volume 4 as well so they can release them at the same time. I am still going to buy them because I've already got the first two in Illuminate editions. So I am still going to buy them, but I just couldn't wait any longer. I kept seeing it in Waterstones and I couldn't keep walking past it any longer. Five stars though, well worth the purchase. Finley Donovan Knocks Him Dead by El Cosimano, book two in this series. I gave four stars, 4.5 if I gave half stars, but four stars. Not quite as good as the first one, but still enjoyed it. The Second Stranger by Martin Griffin. I don't own a physical copy of this. It was an arc, an audio arc, and it was really good. I gave it four stars. Uh, this is a thriller, and I had a really good time with it. Love Virtually by Daniel Glatter. This is translated and I gave this one three stars. I didn't love the characters. In fact, I actually really disliked the characters, but I had a good time with it nonetheless. It was fast paced, told in letter format and I had a really good time. The Backup Plan by Jill Charvis. Five stars, obviously. I love this Sunrise Cove series. I'm very excited for the next one. The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead. Absolutely loved this. This was a much better go with Ashley Winstead for me than the... In my dreams i hold a knife i did not like that book i gave it three stars this one five stars so good really really gets you thinking and i loved the audiobook it was very very good would recommend the audiobook Fenris and Mott by Greg Van Eekhout. I gave this one three stars enjoyed it for what it was it was a it's a middle grade adventure had a good time priest by sierra simone i gave this three stars three and a half stars if i gave half stars there was just something about it that wasn't quite right for me. This is the literature book club pick. The sex scenes were fantastic. It's just the morality around it. I just think he could have done more to hold on to his priesthood and he didn't. It is what it is. At this point, I did DNF Death by Laura Thalassa. It was a temporary DNF. I've been reading these books back to back and I, they're very samey. So I am hoping to come back to it, but I did get to page 59. So I am hoping to come back round to this one. We'll see when, but it was a temporary DNF for the time being. Had to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix. Five stars. This was fantastic. Gave me the absolute heebie-jeebies and I had to stop reading it at night and only read it in the daytime outstanding 
And then lastly, we did have Josie the Tiger and the Fish, which is a manga which was sent to me by Yen Press. So thank you to them for sending me this one. I really enjoyed this one. I gave it four stars. Uh, had a very good time. Would recommend. Really, really good. And that is everything that I read in the month of January. It looks like I had a really good start to the year. I had plenty of five and four star reads. So I had a really good start to the year and I'm very, very happy with it. Next, we have February in which I read 19 books, totaling 5,657 pages. I DNF'd one book. <sighs> Don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay, so I got bogged down at the beginning of the month with a very, very chunky book, and it is European Travel for the Monstrous Gentlewoman by Theodora Goss. This is the second in the Athena Club series, and I enjoyed this one. I gave it four stars. I didn't enjoy it as much as the second one, and it did drag a little bit for me, but I still did enjoy it and gave it four stars. Excited to finish the third one. It was my plan to do so in March, but I didn't quite get round to it. I think I was overloaded with this, to be honest. It was such a chunker. But it did bog me down at the beginning of the month. Apparently it didn't slow me down though. Then we have Winter House by Ben Gutterson. I gave this one four stars, four and a half stars if I gave half stars. And this was the start of my poll -a -thon TBR. Absolutely loved this. It was fantastic. Apparently my bookmark is still in there. I wonder where that got to. Not that I'm short of them. But um, four stars. Then I read The White Fox by Jackie Morris, which I read while I was at Jade's. Don't own a copy, she does. And I gave this one five stars. This was absolutely beautiful. Brought a tear to my eye. It was adorable. And then I did move on to Echo North by Joanna Ruth May. I absolutely loved this. I was really surprised. I thought I thought I was going to like it, but not absolutely love it. I gave it five stars. It was so good. And I couldn't put it down. This is like a... Actually, it's a East of the Sun, West of the Moon retelling, which Beauty and the Beast is a retelling of. Um, so I really, really enjoyed this. I'm always going to enjoy that kind of retelling because I love Beauty and the Beast. But love this. Five stars. Fantastic. Then I read The Way Past Winter by Kara Millwood Hargreave. They gave this three stars, three and a half if I gave half stars. It was good, had a good time with it. Then I read Nordic Tales, which is a collection of tales from Norway, Sweden, Finland, Iceland and Denmark. And I gave this one three stars. It was good. This has the original East of the Sun, West of the Moon story in it as well, which was great because I wanted to read that before I picked up Echo North. Um, so three stars for this one. Then I read Witch Hat Italia Volume 2. I really love this series. It's so adorable. This is a manga series um, fantasy. And I gave this one four stars. Had a great time with it. Then I read Clementine Book 1, which is a... It's a dystopia series in the set in the same world as The Walking Dead by Tilly Walden. And I gave this one three stars. Had a good time. Looking forward to the second one coming out later on this year. Then I continued on with Witch Hat Talia and read volume three. Gave this one four stars. Going to continue on with this series. I've bought all of them now, so having a great time. Then I read The Bewitching of Avalyn Jones by Phil Hicks. I absolutely love this series. I gave this five stars. I'm a little bit sad it's over. I would not be mad if he opened the door to this series again and continued on with Avalyn Jones. Loved it. It was fantastic. Then I read Black Paradox by Junji Ito, which I gave four stars. This was so weird, which is standard for Junji Ito's books anyway. Um, but yeah, very, very strange. If you're not into your body horror, like in graphic form just be careful with it because it is very much so most of Junji Ito's books are to be honest at this point I did DNF the last tale the last tale of the flower bride by Roshni Chokshi I was not into the writing style for this I don't even know where I got up to to be honest which I'm absolutely heartbroken about because this book is beautiful but I was not into the writing style whatsoever it's very lyrical and flowery and it's just not up my street I don't like that writing style if you've been here for a while you will already know this um, so yeah, permanent DNF for this one. Then I read Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score, which is my favourite book of February. And I gave this one, obviously, five stars. Absolutely loved this. So excited to continue on with the series with Things We Hide From The Light. And then the next one, which is coming out later on this year. Super hyped to continue on with it. Loved it. Then I read A Diary of Blood by S.T. Gibbons. This one was good. I gave it four stars. I thought the um, layout of it was really, really good. Very fast paced. Had a great time with it. Uh, just did find that the ending was a little bit off pace for me. But otherwise, I enjoyed it. It was a good time. 
Then I read Dream in Sun volume 3. I'm currently making my way through this manga series. It's a contemporary manga series and I enjoy it. It's a nice palette cleanser. A little bit, a couple of things that give me the ick in it, but I enjoy it nonetheless. Gave it three stars. I don't see this series getting much more than three stars. Potentially a four if it does something amazing, but uh, three stars. Then I read A Lady of Rook's Grave Manor by Catherine Moon, which was the Cliterature Book Club pick for February. I gave this one three stars as well. It was good. The sex scenes were great, but there was no plot. It was all smut, no plot. And for a book this big, it just, I don't know. If it's going to be this big, I need it to be smutty and plot, the, to be a plot. But the plot didn't come in until like the last 20 pages. <laughs> So I don't know if I'm going to continue on with the series, but three stars. It was fine nonetheless. Great discussion was had about it though. Then Dreaming Sun Volume 4. Again, three stars for this one. Not much more to say that, I've, that I haven't already said. Then I read Things We Do in the Dark by Jennifer Hillier, which I gave four stars. Four and a half if I gave half stars. This was great. Really enjoyed it. Had a good time with it. Um, I did the audiobook for this and would recommend it. It was very, very good indeed. And last but not least, in February, I did read The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kwong. I actually finished this on the 1st of March, but I literally only had, like, this much, if not less, to go. So I've said it, I've said it's a February read because I've read the majority of it in February. Five stars, absolutely loved it. Fantastic. Left me on a cliffhanger, and you will see what book I dive straight into at the beginning of March because of this if you can't already predict. Okay, I can't hold this up, but this was May's pile. Don't ask me what happened, I don't know what the answer is because I just, I've got, I'm nothing to tell you, I'm not sure. I just, it, it was a wild ride, let me tell you. March consisted of 18 books, so one less than Feb, but 5,951 pages, almost 6,000 pages were read in March. Just, I'm not sure what to tell you. It was a good month, clearly. <laughs> okay, so if you did predict correctly, my first read of March was The Burning God by R.F. Kwong. I wrapped this series up for Final Book Support Group. Cha-ching! And I gave this one five stars. I really loved it. It was fantastic. I did see the ending coming a little bit. Um, I, I don't know if that's just me being realistic and just thinking that well how else is it going to end but i saw the ending coming a little bit so i wasn't particularly shocked by it but i loved it nonetheless i thought it was great such a fantastic series love rf kong's writing style i do apologize if you can hear my washing machine it's wash day then i moved on to the vanishing of alan jones by phil hicks if i said that the last one was the last one in the series i i lied it's this one <laughs> final book support group five stars loved it outstanding again wouldn't be mad if phil hicks went back to this series and went back to the characters from avalyn jones i loved it then i read dark waters by Catherine arden which is the third book in this series the final one is empty smiles and i do plan on getting to it but i just didn't manage it in the month of march but continuation station so i'm happy nonetheless gave this one four stars really enjoy this series then i read the polar bear cafe volume one i was really expecting this to be super cutesy super cozy really what i'd wanted in the moment it was not i was confused for the most part of this manga and i don't think i'll be continuing on with it i gave it three stars the illustrations were adorable but the storyline itself was very odd and i wasn't a big fan of it so three stars for this one solo leveling volume one i gave this four stars four and a half stars if i gave half stars the only reason it didn't get five is because i reckon that they're going to get better and i would like to reflect that in my ratings i fucking love this this was fantastic i picked it up because of jody from vanilla moon and absolutely loved it so thanks jody <laughs> uh really really good four stars then I read A Good Day to Pie by Misha Pop. This is the second in this series. Whether or not it's the final, I don't know. But it's got me up to date either way. And I gave this one four stars. Not as good as the first one, which is Magic Lies and Deadly Pies. But I enjoyed it nonetheless. Had a good time with it. Cozy mystery. Then I got myself up to date with Finley Donovan, with Finley Donovan Jumps the Gun by El Cosimano. I'm aware that there's going to be, I don't know if this is going to be like a longer series or whether the fourth one's going to be the final one, but there's definitely a fourth one coming out. But it's got me up to date, so happy with that. Four stars for this one. Didn't enjoy it as much as the first one, but it was still good nonetheless. Then I read I'm Glad My Mum Died by Jeanette McCurdy. This was the first book for the non-fic book club that I run with my patrons. We do... Um, quarterly 
quarterly uh, picks, so four books a year for the non-fit club. And I, this was fantastic. I gave it five stars. If you want my th full thoughts on it, I did do a vlog for like. It, I read it during a vlog. I give you my full thoughts. I'm not going to go into it here, but five stars. It was great. Then I read The Sad Glo Ghost Club Volume 3 by Lizzie Meddins. I love this series. Five stars. Outstanding. No more to tell you than that. Then I read Everything is Okay by Debbie Tung, which ended up being my favourite book of March. And I gave this one five stars. This was absolutely fantastic. Um, I got a tear in my eye a couple of times. Related to this so hard, not just with my depression and anxiety, but also with my ADHD, weirdly enough. Uh, did a cosy reading vlog with this and it was such a good time. I had a great time reading it. Then I read Teen Titans Robin by Cami Garcia and Gabriel Piccolo. Gave this one four stars. Really enjoying the series. Very excited to see what comes next. I know that they're doing a Constantine graphic novel. So I'm def definitely going to pick that up when it comes out later on this year. I read Lost in the Moment and Found by Shauna Maguire, which is book eight in the Wayward Children series. This is my favourite one today. Absolutely love this one. Five stars. Fucking loved it. Outstanding. Then I read Her Soul for Revenge by Harley LaRue, book two in the Souls trilogy. Book three isn't out yet, so it's got me up to date. Really fucking happy that I picked this book up. Five stars. Absolutely loved it. So fucking good. Cannot wait for the next one. Then I finally got Three Shadows of Self by Brandon Sanderson. This book has had a bookmark in it for the last year, over a year, since January 2022. And I finally finished it off. I just nosedived into it and I was like, you know what? Let's just fucking finish this and be done with it. So three stars for this one. Don't enjoy Miss Born Era 2 as much as I did Miss Born Era 1. But I've, I've, I've finished it. It's good. I've finished this book. I'm so happy. Then I did read Zodiac Academy Volume 1, The Awakening. Four stars, four and a half stars. But if I just rated off of vibes, five stars. Fucking loved it. Ten stars. Absolutely loved it. Outstanding. I was, I just, I fucking loved it. I've never wanted to pick the next book up in a series so badly. And that includes the Poppy War series. I just loved it. So fucking good. It's got crack in the pages. Obsessed. Did give it four stars on the basis that I'm aware the series does get better. So I want, again, like solo leveling, want to reflect that in my rating. Four stars, four and a half stars if I gave five stars. Obsessed. I also went straight into The Bands of Morning by Brandon Sanderson. This is not because of enjoyment. It's like literally solely on the basis of self-preservation. If I didn't pick this up straight away, I would have never picked it up. So I did read this one, gave it five stars, smashed it out in the space of about four days, I think as well. Very quickly got through this one, um, rather than 14 months. Three stars. What, did I just say that I gave this five stars? Oh, three stars, three stars. At least I'm up to date with it now and I can continue on. Uh, then we have The Secret Bridesmaid by Katie Birchall. Gave this one four stars. This was a lot of fun. Had a good time with it. Four stars. And the final book for the month was Zodiac Academy, Ruthless Fate, book two. Four stars, four and a half stars if I gave half stars. But again, on vibes, ten stars. I love this series. There is crack in the pages. I'm obsessed. I don't know what to tell you. So... Those are all of the books that I read in the first three months of the year. It, it, it's a lot, I know. I don't... Kicked off the year with a bang, clearly. And uh, hopefully continuing to do so in April because I want to read 30 books in 30 days. And so far, that's going well. Uh, so, yeah, that's everything that I read. Chat to me in the comments down below. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit different to how people usually do wrap-ups. But I'm not a fan of wrap-ups. I don't like watching them. I don't like filming them. So this is the way I do mine. Just to deal with... Just to wrap everything up and let you know what I read in one go. I hope you have enjoyed it. Chat to me in the comments down below. If you got to the end of this video, first of all, thank you so much. Um, but leave me a... I don't know, a zodiac emoji. If you, can, if you have access to them. I don't know. If not, leave me a lion for Leo, I suppose. Um, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.